Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. We are in the Black Citadel. Right now, just kind of exploring. Mimic King appears. Boss Trolls appear. All right. More of you guys. Oh, yeah. Miracle Slash does actually uh, use MP. All right. I forgot about that. Oh, you know what? Let's Big Banga. I'll be getting out of here eventually, so... It's fine. Vegas unleashes Big Banga! Psyching up would be pretty amazing. More useful against a group, though. Whoops. Let's let's not do that again. We don't need to. We don't need to. Excellent. Nice. All right. Enemies are defeated. Each party member receives a one, two, five, four experience points, one, eight, three gold coins. Okay. All right. So we're back here. Go up here. Alright. Oh, we are actually outside. Okay. Okay. And that's all broken. Okay. Alright. More arch demons. Okie dokie. It's Giga Slash. Stainless Steel Sickle. Giga Slash. Big Banga. Kaboom. And shining shot. Let's just let's just unleash everything big here. Why not? Oh right. They're immune to uh Okay. I think they're immune to that. Yeah. Okay, Big Banga is not a um a kaboom bay a uh, bang based. Whereas shining shot is. So yeah, that's not doing anything. All right, mistakes were made. Well, we still got uh, most of them dead. Falcon slash, stainless steel sickle attack, and Sarah Sarah. Okay, arch demons are defeated. 1,254 experience points and 186 gold coins. Okay, so we've already been in that door, so let's go ahead and head over this way. We gotta figure out a way to raise these stairs. Which actually... Yeah, there's a lever up there. So we get up there and then... Release it so we can... Oh, hello! A Babonga! Actually, no. Dragon Slash on you. Nice! Gazes upon Jessica in admiration. I don't have to worry about you uh, doing something right now. Ow, my face. Ooh, 
12 MP. Nice. Okay, down he goes. Fortunately, this does mean a Dragon Slash on you, but it is enough to kill, so that's the important thing. 802 experience points, 122 gold coins. Head in here first. This would appear to have once been a uh, an inn. The book is so worn and tattered that you can't make head nor tail of the text. Proof. And nothing interesting. Fine, be that way. Nothing. And nothing. Alright. More uh, babongas appear. Not actually sure what they can do. Oh, good. Okay, gaze upon that Jessica. Belch is blazing fire. Okay. Ow. Let's get a hustle dance. I like the slime maracas. Okay, good. Down he goes. So I would imagine that this will kill that one? Yep. So I think Ald had been doing more damage, so... 752 experience points, 132 gold coins. Interesting that those guys are worth less experience than uh, the boss trolls. There's our ding. Nothing actually uh, down here. It looks like there's not going to be anything up the other way either. Caped Caper. Caped Caper and a Foul Fighter. Dance and Shining Shot. So we've really only been exploring this first op first area anyway, so getting out is not really a big deal. Launches a thin air attack. Rude. Okay. Enemies are defeated. A 700, 774 experience points, 122 gold coins. I don't know what the caped capers are capable of. But uh, there's also nothing this way. All right. So now we're inside right here. Okay, it does look like there is a balcony area, but I'm not actually sure if that's accessible. Maybe on the outside along uh, that. I don't know. However, the ding does indicate that we should go out, get healed, and we can come back. 
I don't know if I can zoom back here. It'll be interesting to uh, find out. Alright, let's see what we've created. You've made an Eros's bow. Alt obtains the Eros's bow. Alright. A bow of illusions that fires arrows which can confuse their target. It's pretty decent. Attack power f uh, 45. Oh, I need to uh, unequip it. Alright. Okay, so I'm popping all of the uh, the bows that I have, of uh, the good bows at least. Alright, Eros's bow. Chiron's bow. And a great bow. Let's do it. Okay, so it is going to be some time before that is ready. Nope. All drinks from, from the Mystical Spring. The party's HP and MP are fully restored. Let Medea drink from the Mystical Spring? Sure! But he is full. She can't drink anymore at the moment. Okay, fine. Be that way. Alright. Angelo's MP is at 209 now, and that will go down. Okay, no, we cannot. So we do have to fly there. I figured that was the case, but, you know, it was worth a shot. Would have been nice if we could. Alright, where are you? Alright, you're gonna be out this way. There it is. There we go. Okay, back we are. Oh wow, Babongas, Claws, and Archdemons. Okay, uh... Trying to think of how I want to go after these guys. them. Oof! Ow! Oof! Ow! Okay! This, uh, this group is not messing around. Belch is blazing fire. Yeah, not having a bow on, uh, on Angelo kind of sucks. Okay! Okay! Alright, alright. You know, I mean, that's, that is definitely something you guys can do. It's fine. I don't think Zap's gonna do a whole lot of damage, though. But... You know what? You know what? Hmm. 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 No, let's go with the Hamlovers. Let's see how this goes.
Go Black Tri-Stars! Stream Killer Attack! It's just on one, though. Five hundred seventy damage. That's that's pretty good. That's some pretty good damage there. Triple swords. Two fifty one. All right. I mean, they're taking a lot of damage, but. Crackle Slash. Bow and let an arrow fly. Crackle Slash. Powerful Laser Beam. Alright. Nice. There goes the Claws. Belch's Blazing Fire. These guys aren't the best against a whole group, but that was pretty good. The enemies are defeated. Each party member, each party member receives 1,974 experience points, 329 gold coins. The Babonga drops a treasure chest. Ald opens it up. What? It contains a bottle of fresh milk. Ald puts a bottle of fresh milk into the bag. Oh, we milked it. Why is Ald casting? The hell? I gotta manually do that if it's gonna have Ald do it. Try to swoosh on you guys. Not too shabby there. All right, down he goes. Would have been nice to have gotten that off earlier, but No, we have not used Caduceus. Let's see how that goes. Of course, I'm not really going to know how much this heals with the hustle dance going, but we can at least see what it looks like. Plus, now we, we actually will get some healing. <laughs> Angela wields Caduceus. 73. All right. Ow, my face. It's rude. Okay, good. Down goes the Archdemon. Bonk him once. Yeah, I find the bows just really, really good for Angelo. 1262 experience points. Ald's level increases to 41. He might be pretty good with swords. I don't know. Uh, 8 MP, 6 MP, uh, 8 hit points, 6 MP. 3 strength, 2 agility and resilience, 5 wisdom, 7 skill points. Okay. So I was thinking about, um, like... So if I hadn't put any points into boomerangs and was just going all swords, all courage, um, I would have 89, and so I would still need another level to hit 100 in courage. As it is, I'll probably need two more levels. No, no, not two. I was 
More than two. Probably four. Party obtains 180 gold coins. Archdemon drops a treasure chest. Ald opens it up. What? It contains a rock bomb shard. Ald puts the rock bomb shard into the bag. I mean, I don't consider the, the boomerang uh, worthless. Uh, it's just one of those sacrifices of... You know, you sacrifice some early damage uh, or some later game potential um, in favor of early game damage. Oh, wow, that is a lot of barrels here. Storage room, apparently. Party obtains 500 gold coins. Ald finds a prayer ring and puts it in the bag. Ald finds a seat of defense and puts it in the bag. There's a lot of barrels. Some of them will have something, surely. Party obtains 1,200 gold coins. A single boss troll appears, all right? Go ahead and heal yourself up a little bit. So basically that's a free mid-heal. Whereas Hustle Dance is a free, almost uh, multi heal. It's not quite as strong. Technically, I think Caduceus isn't quite as strong as mid-heal either. It might not be as affected by wisdom or something like that, I'm not sure. The boss troll is defeated. Each party member receives 426 experience points, 56 gold coins. Alt finds an urn of Saint's Ashes and puts it in the bag. Finds an Igdrossal Leaf and puts it in the bag. Ald finds a piece of our Halcom and puts it in the bag. Ooh, nice. Ald finds a piece of hard cheese and puts it in the bag. I don't know what I'll use the uh, or Halcom for, but. Alt finds an Icicle Dirk and puts it in the bag. Did I make one of those? I feel like I might have. Maybe it was an Ice Sword. Not that I have a Dagger user, really. Alt finds a Seed of Life and puts it in the bag. Piece of Cured Cheese and puts it in the bag. Nope. Hold on. Piece of Rock Salt and puts it in the bag. And that would be it. Babongas. But yeah, if you do manage to grind up uh, a whole bunch of skills, um, multiple weapon skills, then you would basically always want to have uh, certain weapons uh, in your inventory for them. Empties its jar in one gulp. Okay, way to go. Belch is blazing fire. Okay. 
All right, so the Dragon Robe really cut down that damage on Angelo. Um, Yangus is wearing some stuff that's reducing damage. I think, might, I think he might have a Dragon Shield. Not positive. Okay, down he goes. Probably should have hustle danced. So I think we'll get rid of both of them fairly easily. Eh, maybe not. Well, shocks. Shocks indeed. All right. Measure 54 points of damage. Another dragon slash. Stay the steel sickle. Now we will hustle dance in case that gets off first. Caducius on Jessica because she is, uh, I think, the worst off. Never mind. Maybe the next fight. The Babongas are defeated. Each party member receives 752 gold experience points and 132 gold coins. Interesting uh, pupper statue. Okay, so we have that. A pair of arch demons appears. Nope, not dragon slash. Hustle Dance. And how about... Kaswoosh. Ow. There we go. I think they're resistant to that. That's pretty good damage. Ah, just bop it. I kind of wish that line was voiced. There we go. All right. 159 uh, points. Eight, 836 experience points. 124 gold coins. Archdemon drops a treasure chest. Ald opens it up. What? It contains a rock bomb shard. Ald puts the rock bomb shard into the bag. Huh. Kind of surprised we got two. Okay. Stairs are restored there. And it is about time to wrap it up. Let's come in through here. See that uh, collapsed thing? Can't do anything with the um, fountain there. So we had a room full of barrels. What do we got left? Boy, the smell of it. There's five treasures somewhere around here, Gov. Five treasures, huh? All right. But it is about time to wrap up the episode. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys first. Ah, oh, the enemies make the first strike. That is rude. Ow. Quit it. Stop it. Ow! Stop it. Bell just blazing fire. Very nice. I think that might be our first dodge from that uh, that armor. Could Giga Slash the Babongas. Let's go ahead and do that. Stand still sickle. Archdemon probably has the best. It's a group of enemies. It's all enemies. Let's try it.
Okay, the Babongas are definitely resistant to ice. Probably 50%. Hmm. Quite very damaged there. Gazes upon oh, nice! They both gaze upon Jessica in admiration. Ow! My fail! Okay, good. Get the hustle dance. <clears throat> Lovely, a kaboom. Ow. Alt's injured again. He does have a. Uh, ow. Does have a miracle slash coming, though. And a caducius. There we go. So 93, yeah, that's about a mid-heal. Okay, benefit the most from Caducius. Just give it to uh, Angelo for now. I mean, he might not even need it. We'll see. Or, I mean, get it off, I should say. Nope, he did. That's good. Excellent. All right. There we go. Enemies are defeated. Each party member receives 1,596 experience points, 250 gold coins. Okay, so that's the other side there. What do we got? Okay, that's broken. We can get out here. Not actually sure where this leads. Three Babongas. Okay, well, good news. Giga Slash. Stand Steel Sickle. Just attack. And you can. You could try Kathwack. But I'd really want to look up the enemies. Yeah, my, one of my problems with uh, the swoosh tier of spells is that they have widely varying damage. Like, there's always a little bit of randomness, but they have a lot more randomness than most others. Excellent. Next attack should actually take out this last guy, maybe? Yep. There we go. All right. 
Babangas are defeated. 1128 experience points, 198 gold coins. Nothing there. It's a book entitled Cursed Shields of Yore. The curse placed upon the Ruinous Shield is too powerful to be lifted by Saint's Ashes alone. In order to render the Ruinous Shield fit for use, it must paradoxically first be made even harder and stronger. If you manage to restore the Ruinous Shield to its former glory, you will hold in your hands the strongest shield the world has ever known. All discovers a new recipe for the Alchemy Pot. The best shield equals Ruinous Shield plus Saint's Ashes plus... I would like that. Alt finds a dark robe and puts it in the bag. All right. We had one of those, or we may actually still have it. Cape to Caper, Boss Troll and Cape to Caper. Cape to Caper A does the sultry dance. Angelo begins dancing under uncontrollably. Cape to Caper B does the underpants dance. Dang it! <laughs> it is it is fitting that Yangus is the only one unaffected. Ow! Face. Like, he can do his own underpants dance. Sultry dance. All doesn't catch the dancing bug. Then you're going to attack for a whole whopping two points of damage. Oh, boy. Whatever shall I do? Oh, look, I will Kaduki is it. Yeah, they're, these, the caped capers are much more about being annoying than anything else. They don't do a whole lot of damage, but they do have some annoying dances. My bow. I want my bow so much. There we go. Yeah, it really sucks when you have to uh, make someone uh, use a weapon that they're not terribly uh, experienced with. Each party member receives 824 experience points, 118 gold coins. is actually about time to uh, end the episode. Actually, we've uh, definitely gone a little bit over. Let me see if we can get into that uh, room over there. I'm also kind of hoping that I get the ding. The most important ding of all. The ding of dink, I mean... Swoosh. On one guy, it's fine. Okay, one down. Nice dodge. Mm. 
bottles on my uh, cup of water is down to just ice. Ah. Boss Troll is also down to nothing of his life left. Yankus' level increases to 41. 3 hit points, 7 MP, 4 strength, 2 agility, 1 resilience, 6 wisdom, 7 skill points. We are going for humanity. Yankus' humanity increases. He becomes a gang leader. Yankus learns mid-heal. 112 gold coins. Mid-heal, not the most interesting thing. Ald finds a piece of premium mold and puts it in the bag. All right, that's actually uh, very interesting. Archdemons appear. It's Giga Slash U. Keep going the wrong way to get to Kaswoosh anyway. Nice. All right, one down. Okay, well, we did a lot of damage to them already. 836 experience points, 124 gold coins. Nothing there. Bunch of graves that uh, don't actually do much for us. We do have stairs down here, but uh, this is going to be where we uh, call it an episode. When we come back next time, we still have a lot of this place left to explore, um, and it is a little bit maze-like, but considering that I have items that I want to get before we get too far in, well, before we get to the end, um, we still have a lot, of, a lot left to do, so... But that will be for next time. See you then, everyone.